All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Now, there's a lot of things going on in the market and a lot of people are not talking about, especially other YouTubers. Apple, if it rejects, it's going to drop the market probably a lot. The market's been trading sideways for the last about week and a half. It's been trading off 100 point days. So just letting you know, but let's go over the charts and let's get into it. And guys, if you have it, we are knocking it out. Guys, if you guys want to come join this, literally it's that easy. I mean, we were hitting it left and right all last week. So if you want to come in and join the membership, we are doing half price on membership right now. So if you want to come in and join us, the link is in the description or in the comments of the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you've been following the channel, give me a like. Hey, it helps out a ton on the views. Let's get the channel start popping again. I'm going to make daily videos. I'm going to start going live next week. So if you want to come in the live, I'm going to go live almost every day next week. But the big show right now, a lot of people are not talking about, which I don't understand, is Apple is actually breaking that 50 moving average. Like I said, the 20 and the 50 started moving, uh, started crossing. Now we are rejecting off of that 50, but it still has not gave out yet. So when Apple does drop, you're probably going to see a lot of the indexes probably take a dive to this next support level which probably isn't going to be hard honestly if even apple drops say twenty dollars you're probably going to see it start breaking it down around 5300 on the sp500 and then also on the nas you'll probably see the rejection off of this old support line um if, the, if you don't know what i'm talking about this one right here and then if we actually do reject from here you're probably going to test around seventeen thousand six hundred fifty, and then also on the triple q's on their triple Qs, if we do get that rejection on Apple, it's probably gonna start breaking a lot of channels. But if we do get that rejection around 430 is probably going to be your support line, like last time I called out. Um, just be very careful with this right here because Apple is gonna control a lot of the market coming up, especially SPY since Apple's a part of SPY. Um, if it does reject, you're going to see SPY break this support. It's been hugging it. It's gonna reject off that 50. You'll see around 530 on SPY. If something crazy happens, then 516. And then also on the Dow, it is literally floating on that 50 moon average. Now, remember guys, Dow's with a lot more smaller stocks. Mm -hmm. So if we do actually reject from that 20 moving average, it's probably because small tech is finally taking a dive. Um, Dow can hold up small cap a little bit more, but if it does break around, oh, around 40,000, around 40,468, if it does, you will probably see Dow probably test around 39,400. So just throwing that out there. And then also on small cap in general, on, the, on like, you know, the index, if we start breaking this right here, the 50 and the 20, you're gonna start seeing around 12 come in and that's gonna help drop the market. Now, one thing that you do need to pay attention to if you are trading crypto, pay attention to this because if crypto actually does reject from this 20 million average, you probably will see around 55,000 or around 53,000. And then also the start of the show, um, the 10 year yield is on support. Now just remember the 10 year doesn't exactly move it down to the one minute on the market. So if this does sides to pump, you're going to see pretty much the market slowly take a small hit off the 10-year yield. And then also DXY, um, we could hit around 4.5%. We do have resistance around 4% flat. And then also on DXY, we are literally on support on DXY too. If you start to see the 10-year pump, literally, it's not gonna be hard. DXY will follow, it will help the market drop also. So there's a lot of things facing the market right now. So just be very careful with that going on. And then also on crude oil is probably doing a false breakout. Um, it's, I don't see this probably going too much lower. There's a lot of buying support right here. So just throwing that out there if you are in crude oil. Um, just be very careful, guys. You know, if you are trading nothing but like bigger stocks in oil, they're going to move really slow. On um, these smaller oil, like nine, um, literally just hang on to that. Just wait for this big pump. It's not going to be hard. Not financial advice. We'll hold our video. And then let's go over the Mega 7, eh? So on the Mega 7, we are hitting that 50 moon average on Amazon, if we do get that rejection, we do need to break 175 and then we can test lower levels around 150. And then also on Meta, it is literally floating still. I'm surprised it hasn't broke. Um, it's in between the 50 and 20 moving average right there. Um, if it does break around 464 is gonna be your support. For some strange reason, if it decides to push, 554 is gonna be the top on that end. Um, on AMD, we are on the bottom of the channel right here. It's literally doing a false breakout. It's not really doing much, but if it does reject from that 20, you will see around 112. And with Apple dropping, just remember this whole market moves us together. So if this does reject, 112 is gonna be your main support on that. And then also Tesla is going to reject probably off of this top again. 
Um, just be very careful. The 50 and the 20 million hour just holding up. If it does break four or 210 ish, um, definitely going to see around 515 very soon. I don't think it's going to just wreck down there, but just saying, you know, in general, you know. And then also on Apple, it is literally below its 50 moon average. So just be very careful. The show could be starting soon. The 50 and the 20 just crossed. Um, just be very careful, guys. Um, Apple has very extreme drops, very extreme drops. It has slow upticks, but very extreme drops. So just be very careful if you're in calls, you could get hurt very bad, very fast. And then also on Microsoft, it's literally the same thing. It is on support also. If it does reject off that 20, you will test lower ends of around 380 and then around 330, 340. And then also Google. Google is taking that free fall. This is what I've been talking about all year. This channel that they all been going in, all the Mega 7, all the indexes. When they start breaking this channel, things can get ugly. If all the Mega 7s start to do this, guys, you're talking about a crazy show before election. So it is on support though around 145 and then if we do push maybe like 157 and then also on nvda it is also on support um that 50 and 20 million average is crossing so just be very careful if meta apple all the others start to reject you're gonna see in nvda probably take a dive to around 90. so don't freak out um i don't think it's anything that's gonna happen anything it's like crazy calls and puts i haven't seen any really big movement going on um so just throwing that out there also but yeah, guys, just be very careful. Um, it's really just a sideways market. The NAS has literally been trading off daily. Uh, let's actually check it really quick because I'm actually kind of curious. Yeah, so the NAS has really been trading off around, oh, around August the 5th. It's literally been going up and down, up and down. But on the slower end, um, it's really been trading off around probably September 4th. It's really just trading off like this in like a 100, 150 point range or like a 250-ish. But yeah, what I say at every video, at the end, don't drink and drive.